Hello, this is Dalen75 Games. Welcome back to another Let's Role Play of Dragon Age Inquisition. I am Theron, Dalish Mage. Now, uh, reason for my absence on my channel for the last, uh, ooh, probably about 10 days now, is because of one reason. It's, uh, my new video card. Um, it wasn't that, uh, it was still in the mail. I've had it for, oh, over a week. Uh, problem was that when I got it, I, my existing uh, case, my computer case, was not large enough. And that set off a cascading <laughs> series of events. That led to over, with the video card, led to over $700 later and a week in the computer shop because my power box failed when I changed, I bought a new case and changed it over. Uh, yeah, the power box was screwed. It was freezing up the computer, like, not just, I'm not talking like freeze and then you're able to do it, uh, keep going. Like, it was just, frozen. Um, I guess you call it like a computer hang constantly. 90% uh, of the time it wouldn't even boot into Windows. That's how bad it was. So anyways, once we figured that out, it took the guy about six days, uh, including the weekend, so maybe four days, actual weekdays in the shop, to figure out what the problem was. So I had to spend uh, about $200 to get a new, close to $200 to get a new power box. And um, that, I just got it back yesterday. And uh, I actually did make a couple videos last night, but the problem was uh, for some reason, <laughs> my uh, Blue Yeti microphone was not uh, set as the default. So I made two videos, 45 minutes long, approximately, and um, there was no narration, no narrating voice, what you hear now. And uh, I did not feel like having to dub my voice in for the entire two videos. Uh, it just wouldn't have worked. So what I did is I, I loaded about a, probably close to the end of the first video. I haven't really done much. We're still... Uh, I don't want to say Badlands. It's the Hinterlands. Apparently it's a huge area. Like, the map goes really far around. I'm sh I'm kind of sure you can keep going. Because when I played last time, uh, I got all the way down here or further. Uh, I figured out that uh, this somewhat reminds me of an MMO because we encountered creatures that were wiping our butts. Uh, it was a Fade Rift, and they were level 8. And I didn't see why we were all getting killed all of a sudden. <laughs> I died. Like, I got smacked for almost 300 hit points. I'm like, what? And I just died. And then Cassandra died about 30 seconds later. So, yeah. So you have to keep an eye on who, who is what level when you go in. Um, yeah, it says big four for Solus. I have to level these guys up. They've all gained a level. Um, so, in the meantime, yeah, this is a Let's Role Play. And uh, I am a Dalish Elf. Uh, out of my element. But I'm part of the Inquisition. I need to complete the Inquisition. Um, sorry, complete the task of the Inquisition, which is to close the Fade Rifts. Otherwise, all of Thetis or, or more, because uh, the entire planet might be consumed. Now, uh, uh, there was two notes that I read. Now, you can get the uh, summary from this. Um, one was a love note. Uh, love Waits. This is, I think it's the name of the quest I wrote down in my my uh, journal. A young noble named Berend joined the cult in the hills. He is worried that his lover, Velina, has not yet arrived to join him. And then there's this. Um, a letter found on a dwarven corpse suggests that a cave in the hills has a valuable vein of lyrium waiting to be mined. Now, uh, keep in mind, guys, like this game is still really new for me. I have not even seen one review on it. Um, I'm just going on the assumption that it's got pretty good reviews across the board. That's what I've heard. Uh, not through reviews, but through... Uh, I saw Total Biscuits uh, WTF, what is Dragon Age Inquisition? Oh, probably about two weeks ago, uh, three weeks ago. But uh, he said there was severe frame rate issues um, when it first came out. I think this is pre-launch, but they fixed that be uh, right before it launched uh, because, you know, uh, reviewers get uh, a copy. So this is the game. Um, the fr frames per second with my new video card are awesome. Uh, the graphics are pretty close to max. I've been fiddling with it all day. Uh, I had Mantle going only to find out that there's no recording device out there. No video capture, um, not recording device, no video capture uh, app that is uh, works fully with Mantle. You can get it to work. I had it working, but um, it's just too much of a headache uh, because the problem was the program I was looking at, Bandicam, um, it did a beautiful job recording the video. Problem was that it would not go over to Adobe Premiere Pro. Adobe Premiere Pro would not accept um, the format that you had to use for Mantle. So I would have been looking at buying another uh, encoder. Uh, I've, I've had enough. <laughs> I would have had to buy 
to pr uh, purchase Bandicam for almost forty dollars, and I j it's too much, too much stuff. Uh, Fraps is working fine. It is not. The, my video card is not working a hundred percent because Mantle is that new um, thing that allows the programmers to uh, set, basically set, uh, get involved with the frame rate and how fast things go within the the games. And uh, a whole bunch of companies have signed on to it. It's AMD's new thing in the last year, but uh, Fraps has not gotten on board with it. So I assume that they will within the next couple of years because Nvidia and um, is it Microsoft? Yeah, they've both tried to come up with matching themes for uh, Mantle matching programs so uh it's good news for us game players but not so good for uh us making let's plays at the moment uh or in my case let's role play so let's continue on uh yes i've spent all day trying to configure it and uh i yeah i i have been such a, a nightmare i've never actually had such a problem trying to get anything going just for one video game in my life a uh, week in the shop, $700, oh my gosh, I cannot believe it. Anyways, let's continue on. So I, I want to go southeast. Um, now I do have to watch our healing potions, because in my last video that I deleted, uh, we ran out. So this is an earlier time, like I said. Sorry, I don't want to go here. I want to go to the levels. Uh, let's go to Varric, and he is going to... well. Yeah, see, both he's level four, so he's filled out. Let's go. Um, you do more damage when firing from elevation. Uh, let's go with that. So, I mean, I've learned that. Um, yeah, there's such things as behaviors. It's not really too many. It tells you the healing th threshold for uh, when they take healing potions. I can increase it. I think 50% is actually better. Yeah, uh, considering you can no longer heal people in the field anymore. Um, so, but they have their abilities like already here. Like they'll apparently they'll use it. So he has Caltrops. Um, uh, what is this? Slowing down enemies who come after you. This ability is considered a trap for any abilities that enhance or affect traps. Okay. So he already has that. Let's go with uh, her abilities. This is Cassandra now. I'd like to kind of use up the first tree, weapon and shield. Um, She's going to be very skilled in that. So let's go with Warrior's Resolve. Stamina Restore, 10% for every 10% health lost. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to try to make up for all the lost videos. Uh, put out two a day until I can uh, bring myself up to an average of one a day since the game launched, which probably means I need to do about 10, video, about 10 videos behind, actually. Which is a shame. So, um... Uh, now this is Solus, the other mage in the group. Now let's go. Let's go into his damage, though, into winter. Okay, so um, where was it? Oh, fade step. You let invisible waves of magic carry you forward, blurring ahead a short distance. So when he's attacked, he's just going to, like, because he's a mage, right? You don't want to be attacked by some big monster. He's going to fly forward and get out of the range of that. And um, I mean, I haven't really had that much practice with the game yet, but. Uh, I'm hoping that they programmed it so all of these abilities are used intelligently uh, because I was just really got used to like Dragon Age 2 where you had to tell them um, like basically program if this then for every ability that they had. Okay so uh, yeah I have to pay attention this is north we want to go basically this way. Hmm. A lot of rams and other animals and uh, there's a fennec. Uh, actually, I started attacking. I was doing that lots last night. Oh, guys, we don't want to attack all these animals. Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Well, fennec fur. Fennec looks to me like a cross between a fox and a rabbit, actually. I don't think there's anything there. Oh, uh, yes, I did forget. The game is very smooth now. Um, also, I had issues, like, there's beta patches for my video card. Um that have enabled it to be six gold because I killed somebody here. Grouse Feather Charm. I'll have to look at that in a second. Yeah, if my uh, the frames per second were not that high with fraps going, because I look it up right now, I'm seeing between as low as 35 and then up, up to 60. Uh, enhanced Toxic Cloud Ring. Okay, so that's rogue only. Uh, I th What does it do? Let's see. We don't want to go to Theron. we got to go to... Varric, what accessories does he have? Well, I gave him an amulet of dexterity plus two. Uh, enhanced toxic cloud ring. Increased ability duration by 30%. What does it do? 
I'm not sure, actually. These... Because, yeah, there's three different colors in the game. Uh, actually, I think there's four. Is there not green? Maybe it's gray, blue, and then purple. I know blue and purple are in there for sure. Uh, I thought that there was something else here. Ring, amulet, amulet of dexterity. That's what he has. I thought we picked up something else. Okay. Maybe not. Oh. Okay. Uh, it looks like Templar is fighting mages ahead, which happens everywhere. I'm not going to go out of my way to uh, seek these guys out. I mean, they're everywhere out in the hinterlands. Uh, if they're in our way, if they start attacking us, uh, yeah, we will kill them. But, um... Come on. But they're not a big deal. It's kind of like an MMO in, in that regard. Uh, um, I'm going to... Hit up Cassandra with a shield. Oh, which didn't work. Ouch. <laughs> oh no, it did. She has a shield around her now. Unless that was Solus doing that. Oh, there's still another one. Or oh, that's still the same guy. Very tough. Where are these guys going? Come on, guys. No, 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 no. Uh, I believe there's a disengage button, is there not? Home position, clear command, disengage. Yeah, come on. Back. Don't need to be killing all the wildlife everywhere we go. Okay, so... Uh, I take it that I don't need to be... Like, this is my search. My head is turning around looking for things. and It's like... Dead. Kind of like sonar pinging around. <laughs> I don't know what that was. Uh, also, the other matter is that there are resources all throughout the game, and I assume at some point that I will be needing them. Oh, there's nothing here. Oh, actually, I can jump up. Uh, if I need to go on resource run, you guys don't need to be around for all of that. Uh, I take it there's a lot of hidden things around the game. I read somewhere that um, you you can use landmarks and like a, a map to find hidden treasure, which was... That's what they had in Red Dead Redemption. I loved that. I thought that was absolutely awesome. Um, I missed that. I wish more games had that in there. Uh, why is that on us? We're not in combat with anything. Okay, so yeah, we were going this way. I keep getting hit with um, Solus's shield for some reason. So yeah, I'll be collecting ingredients, uh, crafting materials along the way. I'm not going to go out of my way to do it, but... Uh, I also heard that it, you can deplete an area and it has a significant impact on that area. Uh, but also resources do come back within time, such as elf root regrowing. There's more mages down there fighting Templars. Seems like every time I do that, I just keep running across Templars. Because I guess mages don't take much <laughs> to bring down. Here is a chest. Medium adventure armor. Rogue only. Uh, no idea what Varric is using. Yeah, like I said, I, I'm totally just getting used to this game. I have, I really don't know. Kind of uber noob. Uh, what? There's a medium adventure armor. He can't... Human... Tr restriction human, trained only. Okay. Free marcher helmet. Uh... Should be able to wear that, can I not? Equipped by Varric. He's using a scout cloak, 52 armor rating, and then there's this medium adventure. Because you need a human, uh, human rogue if we ever come across one of those, which we do not have in our party. So this one requires you to be level 6. Now where am I in this list? Because I could probably use this free march's helmet. It's got 3 willpower. Um, yeah. Well, you know what? <laughs> uh, you can change it so it doesn't show up. Um, is it under options, gameplay, en en enable persistent gore? Okay. <laughs> okay, well, I don't think it's here. Friendly fire. Whether or not it's possible for the Inquisitions, Inquisitor's party to enter its own members in combat. No. Uh, I, I want the game to go smoother. I don't want to end up killing my own guys by throwing out lightning bolts um, by accident. Interface. Is it interface? I, no. 
is not. Controls, key bindings, display, graphics. Hmm. I am not sure where it is, actually. Maybe it's not here. Um, I'm going to have to find it. I'll be right back. All right, I found it. It was under hiding. Or <laughs> it is hide helmet. Um, confirm changes. And I think that... Is that not under interface? Yeah, it's right at the top. I think I already went there. Sorry about that. It's one thing to uh, play the game. It's not quite another to narrate while playing it. It's like you're doing two things at once. Okay, so I have been in here, and uh, so I guess at this point I don't need to be saying everything I have done. But apprentice armor. Ooh. Hmm. So it's empty light arms, empty light legs. Restriction, mage only. Well, I have this nifty armor I'm wearing. So, uh, back, armor, uh, what does it look like? Light armor, 63, and then this princess armor, 75. Hmm. Uh, it doesn't look very damn good. <laughs> well, it says right here, the armor rating. But this light armor of the dragon, it's got 21% fire resistance, but this has empty slots. This is three magic defense. Better armor rating. I think I'm going to use that. Uh, I was curious to know. Can I not? Helmets, light armor. But there's there's something here. Upgrades, yeah. Apprentice coat of arms. It says for light armor, it's plus three magic defense. Can I not use it? This upgrade can only be attached to light armors. That's what I have. How does this work, then? Oh, you know what? I may have to go to an actual, um, like a smith, uh, because there didn't seem to be any way to do it. Now, this is a magical barrier. You need the opposite type of damage. I think this is kind of like an ice. I have a fire staff. What is in there? I thought I saw something in here. Uh, there's demon. And it looks like there is a, yeah, it's a spell binder, which is like a mage. So there's Drake Stone here, it's a resource. Not sure what Drake Stone is used for, but uh, it kind of makes sense to pick up what we can while we have the room. Okay, Mr. Mage, take this. I'm going to electrify you. Oh, oh, oh. Let's get out of the way. I got hit there. Uh, where did it go? There's one here. Aye. Yay. Okay. I think uh, Varric and Solus took down that mage. It had brought demons from the Fade into here to protect its little... Okay, so now I see that. Ah, that is kind of just like a tab key. I'm still getting used to the game, like I said. And, uh, yeah. I need to jump up on things, certain things to get places. I'm just glad that the game runs so smooth. Um, before I, I used the latest beta patches, even... Uh, on, I had to put everything just about a medium. And uh, it was still a little choppy. This is perfect. I don't even notice anything at all. Uh, rare staff. Uh, this does 20 cool damage. Oh, let's see. I not. I guess it really doesn't matter unless I have other items that help. So this keeper ice staff uh, is somewhat better than what I'm using. I'm using staff of the dragon. Am I not? Yeah, it's highlighted the, the two brackets around there. But Solus. He is a mage that likes to use ice. Uh, his ice staff isn't as nice as this. This one he recognized as soon as he saw it that it is significantly better than his current one. Okay. Yeah, I can actually get used to this. And uh, I'm kind of excited myself to play this now. Um, it's not <laughs> when you when you're trying to make videos and like <laughs> the game is not looking very good. Uh, it's choppy. Uh, it's just not not really fun. <laughs> not a very fun experience. It's Drake stone all over the place. So what the, all these uh, 
these crafting materials will allow me to do is I to... I really am in the ass end of nowhere now. Pretty much are. <laughs> Enable me to create uh, better items for the party and the war effort, uh, such as armor, weapons, all that kind of nice stuff. Can you hold it down? No, you gotta keep... It's like sonar, basically. Ping. <laughs> that doesn't take you out of the, uh, the role-playing. Oh, there's a body. Bianca Arms 1, Enhanced. Now, I actually have looked at this. Uh, one influence. I gained an influence. Uh, I think that's like an influence within the region that you are in. This looks like Red Lyrium. Hmm. Another Drake Stone. Grab it on our way out. Three. Okay, so it's not just one. You can get more than one. Uh, yeah, like I said, I haven't played it quite a while, guys. Um, even, like, even with the videos I made last night, the graphics quality was not as good as this. This is virtually on with everything turned up almost to its maximum. I, I don't, I'm not a fan of turning up shadows to maximum because no matter what rig you're, you're running... Unless you spend like 20000 or actually there's 1700 dollars $1, video cards. Unless you can run something like that. Um, yeah. Uh, even with Skyrim, I had everything maxed out except for the shadows. Because when I turned the shadows up, and this is my old video card, um, it just slowed it down really significantly. So anyways, I'm going to end the video here, guys. Thanks for watching. And there's going to be a lot more of these drag Let's Roleplay Dragon Age videos coming soon.